I am going to discuss about how to detect device rotation in Swift UI. How to detect device rotation in Swift UI. So first of all, we are going to discuss about device rotation. Constant that describe the physical orientation of the device. The physical orientation of the device. So first of all, we are going to create a Swift UI. Shift file and this is a support. This is a instruction name is custom modified device rotation. So this is a custom. Sorry, custom modifier device rotation. Rotation. Why do I want to get on this structure? The structure custom modifier device rotation, which is the confirm on this modifier protocol. View modifier, sorry, view modifier. Modif view, we're gonna import on this shift UI, import on this shift UI. And we're going to confirm on this modifier, view modifier, confirm, confirm on the view modifier protocol. And we're going to create on this action. So, Swift UI does not have a built in a way to detect the user rotating this, the, their, sorry, their have hands between portrait and landscape orientation but we can make a custom modifier by responding to the ui device orientation did change did change take their three step change notification device did orientation did not change notification did change notification ui device orientation did change notification so first of all is creating a custom modifier that that watches for orientation change the entrance a callback function when it happen it is not required but we we are going to call back except ui device orientation as it's only parameter just to care so we're gonna get on this let action pass on this action which is type of ui device rotation orientation and return this is a return suppose this is a return statement is void empty void okay we're gonna get on the right and we're gonna add on this make function this is a modifier sorry body function body content this is body function we can use of body function and this is a content this is type of the content so we can use of content dot on appear we can call him on this on appear and we can call him on this on receive we can set on this publisher on receive function we can requirement on this publisher so notification center notification center dot we can set on the notification center and dot default we can set on the default dot publisher for publisher set on this publisher and we can set on this publisher content publisher on the use ui device dot orientation dot orientation did change so we can set on ui device orientation did change notification orientation did change notification orientation did change notification orientation did change notification and we're gonna remove on this object and this is the remove on this And remove on this content. We can set on this code, and this is a publisher set on this code. So we can call him on our action. This is a create on this action. This action action requirement is UI device orientation. UI device orientation. This is a UI device orientation. So UI device dot orientation sorry dot current and dot orientation 
करंट ओरिएंटेशन व्हाट इज करंट ओरिएंटेशन दिस इज लैंडस्केप एंड पोर्ट्रेट दिस इज व्हाट इज वाइज पोर्ट्रेट एंड क्वांट इज गोइंग एंड टू रैपिंग दैट वी मॉडिफायर अप इन व्यू एक्सटेंशन सो दैट इट्स इजीयर टू कॉल वी कैन ऐड ऑन दिस एक्सटेंशन टू इजीयर टू कॉल सो वी गोना क्रिएट ऑन दिस एक्सटेंशन व्यू एक्सटेंशन दिस इज अ व्यू ऐड ऑन दिस मेथड सपोज दिस इज वी गोना क्रिएट ऑन दिस फंक्शन सो फंक्शन इज रोटेट सॉरी ऑन रोटेट ऑन रेटेड डिवाइस ऑन रेटेड डिवाइस फंक्शन विच हैव पैरामीटर सपोज दिस इज ए परफॉर्म एक्शन विच इज टाइप ऑफ एस्केपिंग एंड यू आई डिवाइस ओरिएंटेशन यू आई डिवाइस ओरिएंटेशन डॉट सॉरी वी कैन सेट ऑन यू आई डिवाइस ओरिएंटेशन एंड रिटर्न दिस इज अ वॉइड स्टेटमेंट रिटर्न दिस इज अ वॉइड एम टी एंड रिटर्न वैल्यू इज सम व्यू एक्सटेंशन ऑन द व्यू रिटर्न ऑन द सम व्यू स्टेटमेंट एंड वी कैन कॉलिंग ऑन दिस एक्शन सेल्फ डॉट modifier set on this modifier so modifier is our modifier custom change modifiers so we can call on this custom change modifier custom change custom modifier device orientation call on this actions actions and which is pass on this our action set on this pass on this our action we can create on this our action so we can set on this using your custom modifier in view you, your choosing when you can view so wrapping that view can view modifier up in view extension so that it is easier to or easy to call say so easy to call we can complete on this structure command s and we're going to get on this swift ui view use of custom modifier create we say device rotation device orientation view device orientation view we can create on this custom modify and this is a device orientation view we want to create on this property state private var orientation orientation is equal to ui device orientation ui device orientation and dot this is a unknown first case is unknown so that is the default case this is a unknown and we can resume on this application and simulators and we're going to create on this support this we stay not create on this group we're going to create on this group and we're going to apply on this condition if and this is a orientation dot is portrait so we're going to calling on this our text so this is a for to read and we now apply on this else if orientation dot is landscape suppose this is a we going to get on this text landscape and we going to code on this our case else if suppose this is orientation dot is flat and we going to create on this text flat calling on this flat and we going to create on this else so this is we going to create on this text is unknown unknown case sorry unknown and we going to apply this text property font suppose this is a title and first is color we going to apply on this suppose this is the red color and second text we going to landscape apply on this suppose this is a title and change on this color this is the blue color and third is we going to apply on this orientation flat we going to apply on this flat this is a so not apply on this flat we can set on this unknown suppose this is a body and we want to apply on this color this heavy and we want to apply on this pink color 
so this is the orientation unknown case apply on this unknown case so we're gonna we're gonna run on this project custom view modifier first one so this is the device orientation view device orientation view running on this application run on this project run on this project okay we're gonna run on this project so constant that describe the physical orientation to the of the device so we can check on this print state landscape this is unknown we can not set on this properties unknown unknown we can set on this property suppose which have a custom modifiers okay we want to apply on this sorry we want to apply on this group on rotate function dot on dot we can set on this function so custom modifier on rotate device we want to apply on this on rotate device and is for on rotate device this is a new new device rotate new device rotation for what is a new decision and our is orientation is equal to new device rotation new sorry in new device rotation in you know set on this new device rotation new device rotation you can set on orientation this old device and we can run on this project we gonna run on this project so issue on sorry we can set on this issue and uh, this is a portrait this is style on this portrait and we can simulate back this landscape we can use of landscape over this landscape and we gonna set on this landscape so this is a portrait portrait and we can set to landscape and this is a portrait this is a portrait we can use of another another view suppose this is we gonna calling on this view suppose this we can create on this view suppose we gonna create this device rotation a view and this if we wanna create on this a view a view i am par i am sorry i am parrot this is the i am parrot we can use of a and b so this is a rotation of v stack and this is rotation of horizontal and horizontal stack and this is a vertical stack we want to apply on this orient device device orientation so we can call on this a a check orientation calling on this a check on this and this landscape is b check in horizontal b check orientation apply on this b check orientation we can calling on this reference b check on this we want to run on this project we can go in another another view b check orientation so this is a b check orientation and we want to run this this is unknown So this is a sorry. I am parent. This is a portrait. I am parent, and we can apply on this landscape. We gonna set on this landscape point. So okay, we can sorry on this property which is the landscape. Command us, and we can add on this landscape, and we gonna get on this text. This is the flat. We gonna run on this project. I wanna run this project. This is the unknown first case. And now I am sorry, sorry. I am parrot. This is a portrait. I am parrot. Okay. And we can use the landscape. I am parrot. We can use the landscape statement. Okay. So this is the portrait and landscape. Portrait and okay. And we can set off this permission on this orientation on the device. We gonna project navigator settings. And this is the setting and this is a device orientation this is device on the portrait land landscape left suppose we can use of landscape right suppose the landscape right we want to know this project so this is a landscape right portrait so we can use of portrait this is portrait a uh, portrait and this i am parrot and we can use of landscape this is a land landscape 
the landscape. I am portraying it right. This is the right side on this device. I am parrot. This is the landscape. We can check on this mask for this a left side and portrait. Okay, we can use a custom sighting on this device orientation. Oh, device. Oh, is it sighting on this device handle on this device orientation? Thank you for watching. We can use the device orientation in Swift UI.